that went Quickly, the metal gold. So that's drop. That's drop. It's now oh. drop. It's now. <laughs> yeah, it is now. Yeah. So. Wow. And the green that you're seeing is just the copper burnout. Yeah. It's just copper burnout. That's what the green that you're seeing there. Metal's actually burning up. Yep, it just just turns to dust. Um, but but that's that's the piece that that I want you know people to see. You know when they think about that, you saw it. I mean, I in, you know obviously it's running hot. The torch is running hot. But back in the day and in, in biblical times, can you imagine trying to get that fine window, that that perfect temperature? It'd be almost impossible. You know, and so. I don't know how, you know, obviously this stuff would just go up in smoke and, and then, you know, the, 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 the smithy would be out of money and out of luck and people would be very upset. But that's, that's the diligence, that's the, the vigilance that I think our Lord applies to us when he's applying <coughs> the flame to get us to do something or not do something or whatever it is that we're into that we ought not be into or he's just trying to temper us and make us stronger. That's how subtle and how fine his movements are with with something so crazily destructive so your point was from the bible passage that he describes his his work for us with us as being a refiner of silver exactly yeah exactly so and and we haven't even gotten to the silver yet this is just some you know this is low melt zinc um and and it's still a little melted in there <laughs> oh yeah look at that wow. so yeah i shouldn't be <laughs> yeah. This is the safe way, and I should have safety glasses on too. Um, but there's, it's liquid. yeah, it's liquid, and you can see that it's, wow, okay. it's a, uh, that's the zinc, that's the zinc that was hiding under basically all the other pennies, and the dross acts like an insulator, but that silver, the uh, the not really shiny silver stuff, the white stuff that just crumbles like that, the ashes, that's dross. And you don't want that in your in your metals. Um, you know, the rich people that you'd make jewelry for, they don't like that. You know, <laughs> all of that stuff. So, um, so that's the first piece. In it. How much is left? But you see, you see the you see the the little surface elements that are on there that are dancing around. That's the dross. And that, as a blacksmith or as a silversmith, you'd be wrestling with that, trying to pull that off, but not lose too much of the silver. And then, at the same time, it's 13, 14, 1500 degrees in there when you're putting your hand by it. It's a miserable existence. <laughs> Yeah, 
It's done for, all right. <laughs> to that kind of a thing, but it's one of those things that I noticed as I was working in the metal that came out was like, oh yeah, it is it is like a surface mountain here. Now keep in mind, can you imagine two people, two of you guys, I don't care which two on the bellows, and you've been there for now for however long it takes to get it that hot. He's over there going more and more, and you guys are like, oh yes, we like being your slave. <laughs> so he's dancing on the bellows, you know, and then he's going to say, I need more wood or I need more coal. Oh, I'll get right on that. You know, I got to not reflect the anymore. What happened to that? Like, solidify. My, my guess is either it's starting to solidify or some of the deposits, that yellow stuff you see around there. Um, that's all the chemical trace and chemical residue of all the other metals that we tossed in there has become dross and is, has mixed by gas into the silver. <laughs> Misery, um, but it, it helps us, it refines us, it steadies us. Um, you know, you wonder why you've gone through things and you're like, why was I there, Lord? And you may never find out in your lifetime, but sometimes it's really cool when all of a sudden you walk through a door and you go, oh, I get it now. I, I, you know, you make that connection. 